What is going on, everybody? It's Wishfuls here, and I am playing Battlefield 3. Um, I downloaded this, at, like, I don't know, um, a day, like, the first day it came out, and I played it, like, once. And then, this is, like, my second game, I think. And I like it. It's okay. It's just not one of my favorite things. I'm not saying it's bad. I just think there's some parts of it that I don't really like because I'm more of a Gears of War fan than Call of Duty in this. I I just don't... I haven't ever really played Battlefield. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I just haven't really ever submerged myself into it, I guess. I just usually play Gears of War and League of Legends. Um, this is going to be a really quick video because this is like the only clips I could find from this game that were actually worth watching and weren't me running into someone I thought was my teammate, but they weren't. And they shot me up and everything, so... This, I like, the one thing I do like about this game, not one, there's a lot of things I like about this game, but I do like the fact that there's kind of classes, like you have a support, and then you have a kind of a medic class, and then you have, like, every class has a purpose, not like Call of Duty where you just kind of feel you gotta go kill everything and kill it fast or something like that, there's nothing really you can do to help the team besides calling a Blackbird or a UAV, and this you can actually feel... Like, if you don't get kills a lot, but you're good at watching the battlefield, you can know when to throw down med packs and help people out and everything. And I didn't know what the blowtorch did, so I just was burning stuff at the beginning with it. Um, so, I don't think I'll be buying this game, because there's a lot of other games I want to buy. I'm going to be getting Modern Warfare 3, because everyone's going to have Modern Warfare 3. And I have to give my two cents on Modern Warfare 3. But... And I don't know when Assassin's Creed Revelations is coming out, but I'm really, really hyped for that because the new multiplayer is cool. You have like, you don't have the compass you did in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. You have to like find the dude because there's no one else. Like if you're trying to find the guy with the turban and the green shirt, there would only be one guy with a turban and a green shirt on the map and you have to go find him. And you kill him and stuff. So it's more... Uh, I wouldn't say realistic because Assassin's Creed isn't the most realistic game, but yeah, I guess it is more realistic because there's not a compass guiding you everywhere. But I don't really see any glitches in this beta yet besides whatever this was because I don't know what happened. I was like running back into the battlefield because I saw people like running around with me and I guess I just never actually got back to the battlefield. But yeah, it's not bad. I don't say that I hate it because I haven't actually played much of the Battlefield games before so I don't know the comparisons between Frostbite 1 engine and Frostbite 2 and yeah so my only comparison is the Battlefield 2 beta so I'm gonna end it here it's a quick one like I said before so don't forget to comment rate subscribe like do all that good stuff bump on respawn army I guess and I'll see you next time peace